The stars in the sky when you look up at night appear at first glance to be pinpoints of light, but study them closely, they're not all alike. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. The hot stars are blue and the cool ones are red. Yes, color tells temperature, that's what I said. Some stars are still living and some are long dead. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. The hottest blue stars we consider type O. The cool ones are M-class, confusing, I know. The system was standardized quite long ago. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. Look up in the daytime and what do you see? Our warm yellow sun, which we know is Class G. A star like the others, but special to me. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. As Hertzsprung and Russell said time after time, the main sequence stars queue up in a straight line. Their black body curves tell you every star's kind. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. The stars clump together, not by twos and threes, but hundreds of billions to form galaxies. And there are a good hundred billion of these. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. Today's population of stars we call one. A nearby example would be our own sun. They're quite rich in metals and tend to be young. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. The first population of stars we call two. Just fusion reactors and what did they do? Produce heavy elements, planets and you. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. In five billion years, our sun's life will draw short. We can't say exactly its ultimate course. Expand to red giant or shrink to white dwarf. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me. I've studied the stars of each possible kind. I'm happy to watch them for quite a long time. And don't you just love how they twinkle and shine?